Hey, this is David at uh, Bandai Namco Collectibles. I'm the digital marketing manager, and I'm uh, here to show you some cool stuff. Uh, so we're going to start off uh, talking about Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is one of our most popular franchises, uh, and it spans all of our brands. So right now you're looking at uh, our Bandai Chokugan and some of our Bandai Hobby figureized kits. All of these are available now. Uh, and what's really cool about our model kits, as you see Brawly and you see uh, Vegeta, is how flexible and poseable and articulate they are uh, considering their model kits. And so it's great. Um, and then, you know, our big, big guy over here, you know, this the Vegeta Great Ape is something that we've been wanting to release for a long time. It's our it's our biggest SH figure arts for Dragon Ball. Uh, comes with, uh, you know, a bunch of different hands, a bunch of facial features. The tail is detachable. You can choke the life out of Goku for as long as you want, or if you want, you can have him have jazz hands and, you know, dance the night away. And so these are some of our SH figure arts and our proplicas, you know, the Dragon Radar. Uh, it's a lot of fun, you know, you, how else are you going to know where the Dragon Balls are without the radar? Is a fun game involved in it. It beeps, you hear Shenron, you know, berate you for how you dare you disturb his slumber. It's got one job, I don't know what he's complaining about. Uh, on the SH figure art lines, we've got a couple really good things coming out. We got uh, Jackie Chun, he's coming out uh, in May of this year. Um, and uh, we're super excited for him. Um, the blue hair Vegito is our first time we have showed him off. Uh, come back, you know, beginning of March, we might have a fun announcement about him. <laughs> TBD, uh, next to him is gonna be Sun Goku Ultra Instinct. Uh, he comes out in April. Uh, he matches up with Jiren, which just came out. Uh, and what maybe we're most excited about figure-wise figure -wise is Captain Ginyu is finally coming out. He's been a wildly popular character, always getting requests for it. And if you look behind Captain Ginyu, you might see some familiar silhouettes. We'd love to do the whole Ginyu Force. Um, you know, we gotta we gotta start with the leader. Hopefully, he blows it up, and we can bring you know Rakom and everybody else to the party. One of the other model kits that we're really showing off are the entry grade model kits. You know, here you see uh, you know Vegeta and uh, Goku. They're going to be really inexpensive entry grade models. They're going to be right around ten dollars. Uh, as you can see behind the sprues on these are not intimidating. You know, a lot of people the entry grade to models is kind of they're kind of scared because they think it's going to be too complicated. This is to show you it's not that hard. You can do it in probably you know, 20, 30 minutes, uh, and uh, you may move on to the other model kits. Outside of Dragon Ball, we're gonna do uh, Pokemon entry kits, we're going to do Legend of Zelda entry kits, we're gonna do Pac-Man entry kits. Uh, believe it or not, it's more than just two halves making a waka waka. <laughs> And then for people who don't know what model kits are for these things, you don't have to prime them, you don't have to paint them, you don't even have to glue them, that's, is that correct? That's right, yeah. All the Bandai models are no paint, no glue required. They come out of the, they come out exactly as you, as you see them now. Of course, if you want to beat them up, you want to give them some battle damage, some scars, some blood, you know, it's it's easy to do. You can, you can paint on with, you know, any kind of acrylic paint that you're using for. If you do 40K, if you do any kind of model building, or if you do Gumpla. All right, so obviously this year's going to be a huge year for Evangelion. We've got the final movie coming out later this year, uh, and so all of our brands are making items for it. You know, in the front, le front right, we have you know the figure arts minis of all of the Ava pilots. To the left, you know, you have our NX Edge figures for all of the the awesome suits, and at the top are probably our Pride and Joy. It's our metal builds for Ava Unit One, Ava Unit Two, more to come. Uh, these are action figures made of die-cast metal, extremely poseable, come with just a ton of accessories, a ton of, you know, you see Ava 2's got, you know, the, the docking pod, she's got the umbilical cord, uh, Ava 1 has a, has a similar setup and they just come with guns and swords and weapons galore and you can reenact your favorite scenes from the series. Alright, so here we have our flame model kits. Uh, much like our Gumpla and our Figure Eye standards, no paint, no glue required. This is the entire line, all the way from Bumblebee to uh, Autobot Megatron. Uh, and everybody in between. It's been a lot of fun. You know, we have all three Seekers, we have a couple Optimuses, we have Drift, uh, and then a couple variants as well. But this is the line as it is now. So next up is going to be Devastator. It should be shipping any day now. So uh, by the time you're watching this, it should be at the, your local store. Uh, he's our the biggest of the bunch. He's, uh, I want to say, uh, 22 centimeters tall, they give us metric. Showing off Generation 1 Optimus Prime. You know, he's gonna be one of the next one. He's gonna come out in April. Uh, you are know, super excited. You know, I'm a Gen 1 kid at heart. I, I love everything Gen 1. He's gonna come with, you know, different hands. You know, you don't always have to have the ax if you don't want the ax. Uh, coming out right after him in May is gonna be Megatron. Uh, we did the, Optim the Autobot version of Megatron, but it just feels right to see him with that purple insignia on his chest because at the heart of heart, you know, he's always a Decepticon in my book. <laughs> uh, and then we're showing off for the first time Rodimus. 
um, you know, the, the gray guy in the back, but he's going to be modeled after the IDW Rodimus, so he will have that same color scheme, that, that red, orange, yellow type, type look, uh, and uh, super excited for him coming out. So Flame, outside of making just incredible models, they also make these insane die-cast metal figures that are incredibly poseable, come with a ton of accessories. So Optimus Prime, you know, everybody's hero. His chest opens up, it lights up, you can see the Autobot matrix of leadership inside. Comes with a couple axes, a couple swords, a couple guns. They all come with the base and he's just, he's just, he's just, ooh, I need this guy. <laughs> uh, next to Optimus is gonna be Star Saber. Uh, Star Saber was one of the first ones we made in the die cast metal. Um, it's, it's been extremely popular. Um, I think it's the thing with swords. People love swords. Everybody's got a gun, but not everyone has a sword. So I think, I think they really like to see the swords. On the bottom, we have Drift, uh, very similar to Star Saber, you know, just the detailing. I mean, you can see just how much attention has gone into it. Um, you know, these come, you don't have to do anything for these. These don't need any kind of paint, any kind of anything. You don't have to put stickers on. These come out of the box and, you know, they're just ready to go on your shelf. Uh, and finally is, is, is Tarn. If you look, he, his face is my favorite. He's literally got the Decepticon logo as his face. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's some real dedication. Uh, you know, the, the, uh, the detail on the treads and this, with this enormous gun he's got going on. It's just everything about him just screams Decepticon, just screams trouble, just screams like, hey, I'm here to party. So all, these all four are available now. Uh, Optimus Prime is $450. Uh, and the other ones range from uh, between $300 to $400. So now we have the franchise near and dear to my heart. I am a Star Wars kid from way back when. I love everything about it. And actually, the Stormtrooper was the first model kit I ever built when I, when I came on board at Bandai Namco. And I'll put it up next to my Black Series as far as posability, you know, accessory-wise, it comes with several different guns, tons of different hands. You, you, you can really do anything with that Stormtrooper. Same thing with the entire line, you know, Kylo Ren, Bubba Fett. One of my favorite things about Kylo Ren is his lightsaber effect. Uh, you can see it looks like he's like mid-whir. I don't know if that's a word, whir, but... Mid-blur? Mid-blur. Mid-blur, there you go. It's like whir. Uh, and so, yeah, it's, it's a ton of fun. Um, these kits are, are, are incredible, uh, and uh, it's, it's the line that they're really, really focusing on. So again, no paint, no glue. No paint, no glue. They look like action figures. Yep. They'll come out just like that. Again, if you want to customize your trooper, if you want to make a part of a certain squad, maybe a 501st figure or something like that, you can you can paint them, you can color them, you can scratch them up. If you want to make, a, make them into a sand trooper, you know, just the possibilities are limitless. But if you just want a clean army of stormtroopers on your shelf, you can right out of the box like that. All right, and here we have our SH figure arts for uh, Avenger Endgame. This is, these are all final battle editions. So we all remember the climactic battle with Thanos at the end of Avengers Endgame. Uh, and so they're trying to make figures to, to replicate that. Uh, here on display, we have Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Captain America. They'll all come with a ton of accessories. I know I keep saying that, um, but that's kind of what what makes the line so impressive for SH Figure Arts is you're not just getting a standard figure, you're getting the figure, you're getting a bunch of different head sculpts, a bunch of different hands, a bunch of different weapons. Captain America's gonna come with a broken shield like he had in the movie. Spider-Man's gonna come with the gauntlet that he's tasked to protect in that final scene. And Iron Man, you know, Iron Man's always got the gadgets. Uh, a lot of the questions we get are as far as like pricing goes and availability. Uh, so, so Hasbro obviously owns the license for Star Wars and for, for Marvel, and so there are, are issues with price point and uh, what we can distribute in the United States. So, so that, that's really the reason you know, sometimes they, uh, they come off as so expensive, and that's why they also try to pack in so much into the thing to give you the value. Uh, but as far as quality and detail, uh, you know, posability, articulation, uh, SH Figure Arts are really second to none. So they're already kind of a higher price point. Uh, but then when you put on top of that, you know, we, uh, we have to play nice with Hasbro. All right, so here we have the Storm Action figures from Storm Collectibles. Um, you know, they have a lot of great license and the one they're, they're really showing off right here is Injustice. Uh, you know, all other companies start with the heroes, but Storm decided, you know what? Villains are underserved, let's start with those guys. So Bane came out last month, Lobo's the next one coming up in March, Darkseid coming out in April, and Doomsday comes out in May, and we're super excited for these. And after these come out, you know, we got the good guys coming out. We got Batman coming out next, Superman coming out, and then we're displaying these re this really cool Ares figure who is just scary as heck with the ax. Pending license approval. Pending license approval. <laughs> TBD. How much are each one of the figures going to be uh, so, um, so Bane was $95, and the other three are going to be $105.
All right, so uh, Mortal Kombat's also a huge franchise for Storm Collectibles. Uh, you see our three Cyber Ninjas over on the left. You see Raiden over on the right, which is the next figure coming out. And Motaro is the one we're displaying here. Uh, one of the things I want to point about the last two cases is the dioramas. There's a cool company called Legendary Dioramas. Uh, a, an awesome guy named Daniel and Emilio. They came and they donated these and they've made these for us. And you can check them out on Facebook at Legendary Dios. Uh, making dioramas, would you be interested in doing that for like future figure lines if like you did a prototype and it sold well? Um, yeah, I mean, it would be something that would be interesting. A lot of the figures come with like kind of like flat paper backgrounds and stuff like that. But uh, I think, you know, especially for toy photography being such a huge uh, business now, you know, it's all about your backgrounds now. It's, it's, it's not, you can't just put a figure in a white box and expect to, you know, it to look amazing unless you're gonna digitally manipulate it later. Uh, your backgrounds are so important in photos. All right, one of the cool things about Storm 2 is that they are, are run by fans and they, and, they, and they really, really love the IPs they focus on. So here's a couple of the new IPs they're, they're looking to, to really get into. We got Sham Samurai Showdown. Uh, next to him, we have a Streets of Rage figure. Uh, and then one we're really excited about is his Golden Axe. Uh, you know, Axe Battler is going to come with the Red Dragon that he rides on in the game. It, we have Skeleton 2-Packs. Uh, Axe Battler is going to come out March. Skeleton 2-Packs is going to come out in April. And then at the very, very end, we have the Warden from Gears of War. Uh, Gears of War is a, is a, is a franchise that they, they've really been sinking their teeth into. You know, we made Marcus, we made uh, Cole, and we made Kate Diaz from, uh, from Gears 5. What was cool about Marcus and Cole was they came with head sculpts from Gears 1 and head sculpts from future games. And so they, we, we saw them young, we saw them old, saw them with hats, saw them without hats, and uh, just the accessories are great. So thanks for joining us uh, at our Ben and Amco booth. Uh, if you want more information, you can follow us on all social platforms at Bluefin Brands or go to bluefinbrands.com.